Hi, my name is Ian Randall. I'm a teacher of art and design and the developer of the Randall Foil. This video is for rowers and coaches who are interested in maximising performance and who are open to exploring design innovation to achieve better results. This presentation is about announcing significant research into the standard rowing blade and how its performance can be enhanced through simple design innovation. The beginning of this research was reported by the Science of Rowing and the suite of studies have now been concluded and the results are now available. Your coaching staff will have access to these publications in full and I will provide the links below. This research has helped us better understand the performance limitations of the standard ore and how the attachment of a hydrofoil can measurably improve its performance. First, some background into the foil and then I'll go through some of the key takeaways from the studies. The Randall foil first appeared on the international stage in 2019 at the World Rowing Championships with Martino Goretti, who achieved gold in the lightweight men's single skull. Uh, we're going to hope to focus a little bit on the Italian's blades, Martino Goretti's blades, because he's using a different set of blades than any other sculler in this championship. They're foils, USA. and uh, he was incredibly fast in the heat. Italy. He thinks they give him Slovenia. a decent advantage, and we hope we'll show you that through this race. We are closing in on Martino Goretti. He seems like a lovely bloke. We met him in town the other day. He's moved from sweep rowing to sculling, and um, he's made these adjustments to those croker blades when we get a look down at the spoon, which he says helps him to load them up, helps him make it feel a little bit heavier, and a little bit more like the feel he used to get when he was sweep rowing rather than sculling. Yeah, they are foils, and we need to get a really close picture of the spoon. It's going to be difficult at this high rate of striking. It's almost that you need a tracking camera to, to zoom in on them. Well, well Martino no. Goretti had a great win in the heat. He was a long way ahead of the rest of the field, whether that's down to him or what that might be to do with those blades that he really rates and says he's tested and found really helpful. So can you see the foils on the top of those blades? I think you can just. Yeah, so I think what we're looking for is the top of the blade, the bit that stays just almost out of the water. And it looks like a little black line on there that he has attached, which almost looks like it just scoops and holds on to a little bit more water that would give him that feeling of just a little bit better connection. Yeah, and he says he's had to play around with the gearing of his boat, make it a little easier just to uh, compensate for that extra feel you get on the front end with those foil blades. Oh, Goretti is miles out in front, isn't he? It's like watching crews like the Chinese. And there's nothing exceptional that he's doing there, really. He's just at 35 strokes a minute. This boat's just a little bit faster than everyone else. It's a bit better connected. Still, really, you could throw a blanket over these five scholars for those second two places. But at the head of the field, there's no doubt this is Martino Goretti's race. It's Goretti way out in front. I think a lot of the competitors are going to be looking at the equipment Goretti's using and thinking, you know, we need to look at that and trial that in the forthcoming season, Greg. Goretti in first place. We're just watching him. See the foils on the top of his blade there, quite a good shot, the best we've had in the race. There has always been a trade-off between feel and performance, and rowers have been taught to judge their performance on how the boat feels. I was lucky that Martino was committed to data and not feeling, and before having telemetry available, he had a detailed understanding of his own performance. And these are his words. I mean, I was really convinced after the first try that they were making me faster and, and I've continued using it. Some days I was thinking, oh, it's too hard, it's too heavy, but it was heavy but fast. I mean, I was pushing a little bit more, the blade was more connected to the water and of course the boat was heavier, <laughs> there is no doubt. But I was always thinking, okay, but what happens if I want to go faster on the ergo, I have to push more so I get more tired. There is no easy way of being fast. If you want to go fast, you have to suffer a little bit more. And, and there comes a Randall foil. And they give you that extra connection at the catch, but you have to be able to handle it, or you have to work 
to be able to handle it. That's that's my opinion. That day I was thinking, okay, what what I should try, and pedaling was like too easy. I mean, you try pedaling and you don't understand anything because you can push more or less, and you can make your mind going for the improvement more than your body. So I say, okay, I just do four time two k. Of course, you cannot do four time two k full out, just trying a new thing. So I've decided to do four time two k build up. So it was 24, 26, 28, 30, and is a workout that I was doing pretty much once a week. Uh, even more. So that day, doing uh, doing that that pieces that took a in one direction and also in other direction to see the difference of wind. That luckily that day was zero. I've seen like ten second improvement, and in two of them even fifteen. So I was already thinking, okay, this is a lot faster. The sports science department of the University of Porto have become one of the world's leaders in science-based research. Into a range of sports, including tennis, crossfit, swimming and paddle sports, and now rowing. This all study is their first major research project into rowing, and arguably the most rigorous and extensive set of tests that have ever been conducted on the rowing oar. They have now established baseline performance data for the standard rowing oar, from the lab to the pool, and now open water. From this measure, all new developments in ore design can be tested against. And I was fortunate to have the Randall foil tested against this baseline. Over the past two years, Ricardo Cardoso and the sports science team have published close to 10 studies looking into rowing performance. And I'm gonna focus on two that relate to the foil. Firstly, in the lab, all athletes were baseline tested so their results could be tracked across the various test environments. In the pool and on the water, athletes wore full biometric sensors, complete with backpacks with CO2 capture tanks. In the pool, a modified boat was floated and tethered to instrumentation, measuring resistance. Every stroke the rower took was analysed. This created thousands of data points and with underwater tracking cameras, the performance of the standard ore was revealed. The pool study established an upper limit to the power that the rowers applied through the standard ore. The instrumentation and cameras revealed that the standard ore is compromised by ore slip and the instability during the stroke. Blades did not effectively hold the water and blades do not maintain a vertical position when force is applied. However, with the application of a hydrofoil, blades held water for longer and maintained their vertical position. Most significantly, a rower can apply more power, in fact, 13.2% more power. And this force was applied much earlier in the stroke. The fundamentals of speed are simple. To go faster in the boat, a rower needs to apply more force. The equation is, the percentage increase of force required is squared to the percentage of boat speed increase desired. In other words, to go twice as fast in the boat, you need four times the energy. A 13.2% power increase with the foil, this gives you a potential speed increase of about 5%, which is what Martino and others have seen. The performance data of the pool study was replicated in open water. The foil outperformed the standard blade. The 13.2% increase translated into a 1.27% faster boat speed. That's five seconds of boat speed increase over a 2k course. The reason why we didn't see the full 5% increase as reported by Martino was the boat was not optimized for the foil. The Porto study did not make any adjustments for the foil, no optimization, a direct swap in and out of the oars. But one of the interesting things to come out of the on-water study, and I quote, the use of Randall foils enhanced rowing performance without compromising rowers' mechanical or metabolic functions. This data suggests that some extra boat speed was achieved without extra effort. And speaking with the researcher, 
He believes that this was due to the foil giving a more controlled and horizontal draw through. These studies have provided significant research into how innovation can see our sport progress. And it presents an opportunity for those wanting better results to capitalize on this new age of telemetry. Thank you for your interest. In the links below, you will also find additional information about Randall foils, where to find, how to attach and to optimize. Thank you.